All right, let's take a look at the latest player transactions. These are guys that were part of the XFL, that went to the NFL. Some got cut, who signed. We'll kind of give you the latest update in the last month. But if you head over to XFLNewsHub.com, you can check out our XFL to NFL player tracker where we have all 44 players have signed either with the an NFL team or a CFL team. Some have been cut. We track all of that on our list. So head over there on a daily basis. We're always tracking these guys. We'll see how things go. I think we might be in the clear as some guys are starting to sign with teams rather than be cut. But it's definitely over the next couple of weeks, we will find out if some of these XFL guys actually make the final roster. So some news First up, the Seattle Seahawks have waived Los Angeles Wildcats guard Cleo McKenzie. That took place at the end of July. He was cut, and he hasn't signed with any team yet. The Houston Roughnecks uh, tackle Juwan Bushell Beatty. He was cut by the Panthers in August, the beginning of August. He was an early signer in May. He didn't make the cut there. Some other standouts that were cut. On August, that was kind of around the time where the beginning of August was Dietrich Nichols. We'll get back into him in a, mi- a minute. He's defensive back for the Houston Roughnecks. He signed in March with the Saints. Dwayne Hendricks, a linebacker for the St. Louis Battlehawks, also signed with the Steelers. He got cut. Uh, Tari- Tyree Cannell, a safety for America's team, DC Defenders. Uh, he was cut by the Steelers as well. And Christian Kuntz, a long snapper for the Dallas Renegades. He was also cut by the Steelers. So both Cannell, Kuntz, and Hendricks are part of the nine players that signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they all, those three got cut. And then Dietrich Nichols signed with the Saints. He got cut. We'll get into that in a second. Arian Springs got waived. Los Angeles Wildcats corner Arian Springs. He got waived. First, he was put on the COVID list. And then as soon as he was taken off the COVID list, the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, cut him as well. These teams want to get their camp rosters down to 80 players. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Springs was one of nine former XFL players to sign with the Steelers. So now they're down to about five, I think, now. Seattle Dragons recently, this was August 9th, signed Michael Dunn, the Cle- uh, he, a guard. He signed with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, the Browns signed him to a one-year deal. The team lost several offensive linemen due to the COVID opt-outs for the season. So Dunn is the first XFL player to sign with the Cleveland Browns. Dietrich Nichols signs with the Miami Dolphins. So he got cut by the New Orleans Saints. And then he just signed recently, this was August 13th, signed a one-year deal with the Miami Dolphins. So he was cut. He was one of the first guys to be cut by an NFL team, only to re-sign with another one later. The Houston Roughnecks, one of my favorite player defensive players, Demarcus Gates, got cut by the Vikings. That was also on the 13th. He signed with the team in March and was let go. So that the Vikings could activate offensive lineman Oli Uho from the COVID reserve deal and to keep their roster at 80. So he was waived. I really like Gates. He was part of Mike Mitchell's 2020 all XFL team. He's one of my favorites. Did I point that out? So I'm surprised that he got cut. And finally, a couple days ago, St. Louis Battlehawks tight end Connor Davis got signed by the New York Jets thing with him is he didn't really play in the XFL. He signed with the Battle Hawks after they lost their tight end Cole Hunt. He was placed on injury reserve February 12th and he was a team nine guy, probably more of a blocking guy, but there was no real stats on him. So there you have it. Those are all the XFL player transactions up to this date on August 17th, 2020.